The Topeka City Council kicked off its meeting tonight with an update on the water situation. 13's Alex Carter was there for us. He's back with the update tonight. Alex. David, as Topeka remains in a boil water advisory, Utilities Director Sylvia Davis explained to the governing body how the city plans to move forward in the wake of Sunday's discovery of a contaminated water supply. Early Sunday morning, uh, staff noticed that our treatment numbers at the water plant were declining, so uh, they went through normal standard operating procedures and started adjusting chemical dosing to accommodate uh, the fluctuation that we were seeing. Davis says the three inch break in a pipe on the roof likely cracked due to the extreme cold temperatures, which is believed to have caused the drop in Topeka's water quality. It took some time, but they finally found uh, a broken PVC uh, gas pump. It's a pipe that uh, is on our system that changes our liquid chlorine to gas chlorine. With the boil advisory in effect until at least Friday, the city says it needs residents' help to expedite the process of flushing out 60 million gallons of potentially contaminated water. We're asking people to go ahead and start running their faucets, get that water through their system. Topeka Mayor Mike Padilla clarified that it remains safe to continue using water for other uses aside from drinking it. Normal use of water, like washing dishes, washing clothes, taking a shower, yep. all those kinds of things are what you would be doing at any time. So it's just using that normal use of water on a regular basis and not be afraid to use it for those things. To flush your water, the city encourages you to turn on all of your faucets inside on for at least 10 to 15 minutes. And if you have questions or need assistance, you can call 785-368 3111. Alex Carter with the update tonight. Thanks.